Saber Land, Vader's Vault here, showing off another one of our Sabres out of the vault. This one you may recognize if you followed our work is one of our previous champion class models, the Legacy. Uh, normally we don't do videos of models that are sort of standard, but this one was a very special variant of the Legacy model. Uh, it has some finished features and other things that uh, make it stand out against the rest of the ones that we've done up until this point. Uh, for those of you who don't know, our Champion class was a, a sort of a higher end line of semi-production sabers that I still had to make by hand, um, but they allowed the, the purchaser to configure them with uh, different features, either uh, higher end sound boards or different color schemes or different, just different features overall. Um, one of the ones that we've done recently is this one right here. And this Legacy is very special. It has some finish options that we've never done before on a Legacy. Uh, we got the highly polished finish with the black chrome and gold uh, powder coating, as well as the leather wrapped rear grip instead of the T-Track rear grip. Um, and then we've also got some internal features that I'll go over with uh, in just a moment. Uh, but the Champion class allowed for a choice of uh, either the Crystal Shard, um, previously a Petit Crouton and then also the Crystal Focus soundboards. It is a currently suspended class as uh, we're trying to uh, reconfigure the way we, we handle our models and lines. Uh, so you may see a return of it at some point, uh, but right now we're just trying to get through our backlog of Champion class savers before we decide what we're going to do. But uh, for those of you who have been asking for them, you may be able to purchase them again, but uh, currently we're just trying to finish up what we've got and several of our projects coming up like this are going to be special. So this is the Vader's Vault Legacy Saber. Uh, it is, of course, got some elements of the Graflex based sabers and we call it Legacy, of course, after the uh, Skywalker family resemblance uh, of features, uh, being, of course, the S-curve, uh, the charge pin ports here. Um, and then on the, the standard model, it comes with actual T-Track rear grips back here. On this one, it does have uh, leather, but um, it actually makes for a very nice grip. Uh, we added some of our own special flair uh, with the gill slits here that have a mesh behind them that when the Sabre is on, you will be able to see some uh, lighting from both the switch, the LED, and the, there is also an accent LED that is tied to the soundboard. On the inside, uh, the access to the electronics for Champion Class Saber is done by removing the entire rear grip. So instead of ac having a chassis that slides out of the pommel, uh, Champion Class, you actually just remove the entire rear section of the Saber. And out comes your access to your battery uh, or charge port, depending on the uh, sound card chosen, uh, rice port for getting uh, access to the computer app, for changing parameters, blade colors, blade effects, that kind of thing. Um, this one is special because normally we would have a, a plastic chassis that is just very functional, utilitarian. This one we actually took some time and machined a very detailed uh, chassis with lots of uh, inlays. Let's see if I can get it in the uh, camera view here. Uh, but we've got some milled accents here that are powder coated, some other brass and copper inlays there, as well as some inserts here. Just a lot of detail, just to give it a little bit more um, eye-catching looks to it rather than the standard utilitarian chassis. Uh, this ribbon here is of course for helping you get your battery out. When the battery is out, you got easy access to the SD card, which is right here. Uh, so you can make all your font changes and whatnot uh, without having to remove anything. So. Very awesome, and of course we have our 28 millimeter high bass speaker in the back there, providing awesome sound. And when you've made all your changes or swapped batteries, then you just screw the grip back on. Very easy. This is of course uh, the Crystal Shard 4 in this version. So we have RGB. Which on an RGB saber with is a uh, this particular switch is an RGB switch so it matches the blade color uh, depending on what blade uh, color you have selected of the 16 different profiles you have to choose from on the Crystal Shard 4 uh, but on idle mode it will just sort of scroll through different colors that you can also 
Uh, it's probably not going to show up on camera very well, but you can also see it uh, through the gill slits and the accent light. This is, of course, the Legacy Imperial Knight sound font by Saber Baron, and you can find his work along with others' work on saberfont.com. It is a very loud saber, especially with some of the back venting being able to come through these gill slits here. But you can actually get a different sound when you cover them or let them loose. And you can see when you change the blade color, switch color also changes. We had a lot of fun doing this one. And we can't wait to show you guys the rest of the Champion class models as they are finished uh, with different special customizations. And then hopefully, soon, they'll make a comeback at the vault. Thanks for watching and enjoy your sabers.